Now, after this one, we have to start with what? We have to start with same thing here. We have to go for round one. In round one, we have to do some operation, okay? Now, the first operation in round one is called expansion, okay? Expansion and permutation, which is used the E table, which is used the E table, okay? Uh, now, this is the E table. We have to go and find where we can do the expansion. So let's go back to the Excel. This is the first round. And we start the first operation is called expansion. Expansion is, is, is a, a very simple operation. Same thing, we have to rearrange the text according to the matrix. Expansion, this is the matrix I'm going to use for the expansion. So what I do, I'll make it a little bit bigger. What I will do, you see in the matrix, we have in the middle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10. Now, now I have to split it into two halves. This is the first half, okay, which is 32 bit. Uh, this is, I'm going to make the color different. This is the first half, and this is the second half of the text. This is the first half, and this is the second half i hope you can see that this is the left one okay this is the left half i'm gonna call it here l0 and um, the second one is called uh, r0 this is r0 and the second one is called r0 so all the work will be done in the r0 so i'm gonna copy the right side here copy the right side this is done in the expansion so in expansion, I'm going to use the right side only. So take the right side. I will put here R0. So you know that is the right side. I'm going to arrange them as well from the beginning uh, and give them some position. And I will have to, it should be from 1 to 32 bit. I have to arrange them according to this matrix now for to do the expansion. Now this is 32 bit. I need to convert it from 32 bit into what? into 48 bit so I can uh, deal with it how we do that same thing we start forget about these two column in the row we start with the middle this is the middle one two three four five I have one two three and four so I take the position one two three four and put them in the matrix here one two three four and put them in the first row and after that, I have to take the second row from 5, 6, 7, 8. So take the second row, 5, 6, 7, 8, until in the second row here, Control V. And then after that, 9, 10, 11, uh, 11, 12. Yes. And I have to put them in. How many rows we will have? We will have eight rows. Okay. And yeah, you can continue that. Okay. Copy them. In there you see I copy uh, according to the number from 1 to 4 is the first one from 5 to 6 second one 9 to 12 1 13 and so on all right so we have to you know make sure that we don't miss any pet at all uh, otherwise uh, you're gonna have uh, to miss the whole encryption thing and we almost done here we are almost done. We still have only uh, the last two. Okay, the last two from to 28. And this one here. And the last one from 29 to 32. This is from 29 to 32. Uh, this is, we put it here. Okay, now for the column, we have to add two columns. One here, one column here. Okay. And I'm going to just make it um, bold so you can see it. And another column we added on the other side. Okay. And the other column we added on the left side and the right side. So now what is going to be here? In here you can see we have the bit 32. Okay. Now to make it easy for you without looking at the matrix, this is the bit 32. I'm going to copy from uh, put the bit 32 here. The bit 32 now is 1, so I'm going to change the uh, color of it. This is the bit 
32 is contain 1. I'll put the 1 here. Then I will copy, I will copy the rest without the last one. Copy. Okay, and paste it down the column. So this is the bit. The last bit in the last column will become the first bit. And we copy the other bits down neath that one. It's become now new row. The second column will have the opposite. Okay. We contain number five. Where is number five in the matrix? Number five is here, actually. So this is number five is here. What's number five? Uh, is that so we can copy from number five to the end okay and paste it right here in the second column so this is the second column now the second column is missing a number the number in the second column is actually the first one that we jump on it so this is the first one and this first one we should move it to a we should move it to the last thing here so we have zero here so the first column is moved there and the second column is moved to the first column all right so this is how is it work i hope you can understand now we have we have to put them what in one line so we have to copy them the same way that we copy that text we have to copy the first line here copy and put it in one line all together Control V and the second line we copy it as well and we add it here and also then we copy this one and we add it at the end so to make it one line this is how we do it and we continue until we have all of them in one line we will have 48 bit as you can see we convert it uh, the 32 bit into tune to 48 bit by adding two columns one in the beginning and one at the end we call this one expansion that means we increase the length of the uh, right side the half of the text from uh, 32 bit to 48 bit now we copy the last one and here we go we have the new R1. We have the new R0. We have the new R0. As you remember, we just rearrange the uh, letters according to the matrix and add two um, values. One at the beginning and one at the end. As you can see how many bits we have. Now let's count how many bits. It's supposed to be 48 bit. Yes, now it's 48 bit. So what we did, we converted uh that 40 uh that 32 bit into 48 bit if we go to the slide you can see that the 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 process is to have to convert the right side 30 bit into a into 48 bit into 48 bit now the second step we will get the key so what do we do we XOR the uh, 48 bit that we get with the key so let's do that so the third step is called what is called the XOR. So we have to bring the key here, put it down here. Uh, let's copy the key from top here. We have the key right here. So we're gonna copy the key in order to do the XOR. In the XOR key, uh, if they are, uh, this is the R1, this is the key, as you can see. Um, now let's do the XOR between them. So we can we call this process what now we have to do the second process or the third process is called what the X or with the key X or with the key. This is the third process. It is very um, easy and simple. In the X or if they are the same, okay, we will get zero. If they are different, we will get one. So this is one and one. So the result will be zero. If they are different. 0 and 1 we will get 1 and we continue like this they are this one 0 and 0 so we'll get 0 this one 1 and 1 will get 0 this one also 0 and 0 will get 0 and this one 0 this one 0 0 this is 1 and this is 1 1 because they are different okay 1 
and one 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 also one uh, continue this is the result of the XOR okay this is the result of the XOR I'm gonna just make it bigger these are the result of the XOR now this result is very important okay I'm gonna take it and put it down here so I can work on it this is the XOR result I'm gonna color it so you can see it okay this is the XOR result um, now let's uh, see what's the next stage this is the XOR result